So we still need to get inside that security office. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business with you. Um, but how the fuck are we going to get in? Were you there before, fella? Door card reader. Door lock with a key card scanning feature. All right, okay. We got to fucking sweet talk some of these ladies, I think. Madam. The woman before you looks one bit like one very burnt out suit. What do you want? Oh, charisma. Don't take this the wrong way, but it looks seriously overworked. What's going on? Maybe I could help. She chews on her lip, unsure. With a sigh, she speaks. Yeah, why not? Dead will ever see you again. I could use a good venting session. It's the stack ranking here. My team contracts and acquisitions is in the deep end. But not because we're slackers like sales would have you believe. The way she bites into the word sales reeks of anonymity. Because the system isn't based on merit, we're working our asses off over here while sales doesn't even have to lift a finger. And while they're ranked ahead of us, they're way behind work-wise. But guess what? Sang doesn't care about it. All they look at are the ranks. Come this quarterly review, whoever's last in the stack rankings will get demoted, or worse, sent back to the training pool. She shudders. I'll bet the other team is taking advantage of the situation, too. You don't have to tell me. Sales is reveling in our distress and rubbing their successes in our faces. But it's not just that. They're also undermining our work by denying us important data that my team needs in order to hand off our contracts to sang up for management, as if the rankings weren't enough. What if I could get you that data? She gives you a long look. What's in it for you? I need into the floor security station. I'm sure we could arrange something. I'm offering to help tilt the balance between your team and sales. What do you think? I have the code, but what? I'm not supposed to have it. Technically, I don't have the credentials either. I'm kind of seeing one of the guys in security. He wanted me to have a safe place in case anything ever happened here. Well, if it comes down to it, I'll take the heat for you. She chews on her lip nods. Okay, I'll do it. The sales team's data for the station code. That's the deal. Understood. Give the data to the Sang suit. Oh, they've got their own little faggot office. Okay. This is where sales is. Stupid sales. The hell do you think you know? Oh, sorry, is this not a public terminal? What does it look like, asshole? Get out of here. Okay, that went awful. I already hate this department. How can I help you, sir? Got word of a level 8 maintenance issue right here in your office. If it's not fixed now, things will get messy. I need everyone out of this room for the next half hour. Her mouth drops open, but after the initial surprise drains away, she looks doubtful. What kind of issue are we talking about? <laughs> a very serious issue. I know how valuable your time is, so this repair job is top priority. I'll be in and out in the time it takes you to grab a soy calf. She straightens up and immediately takes on an air of authority. Our time is valuable, as befits a team of our importance. I appreciate the respect and high priority we've been given. We'll return shortly, so you'd best be finished by the time we're back. Oh, and don't leave a mess. No problem, I'll have it fixed in a flash. See that you do. Alright, get out of here, you assholes. Just need to get to that terminal. Thank you. Have Isabel hack the terminal. Isabel, you see what I see? Isabel smirks and raises her hands, wiggling her fingers in the air. It's weak. I've got this. Within a matter of seconds, she's entered a string of commands and transferred several classified files onto a data stick, which she casually drops in your hand. It's been defeated. You're welcome. Go, Isabel. Go, Isabel. The acquisitions manner looks at you eagerly. Did you get it? I fucking sure did. Perfect. Thank you, as promised. Here's the code. A stroke of fear seems to freeze her. I'm not going to get in any trouble, right? You covered your trail? Don't worry about it. One karma. Security station card for level 26 sales. We're going in. Hope this guy doesn't mind. The door opens with a thud. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? We didn't call for maintenance. Charisma 7. Oh, that fucking fetish finally paid off. 
Heard you needed a level 5 tune-up. We finally got all the parts in, but there are other departments on the waiting list. We can skip you for now, but I'll have to put this station back on the bottom of the list. His back stiffens. Whoa, there is no need for that. Please come in. If you could start with that desk in the back, we'd be awfully grateful. Then I'll get to work. As maintenance, I'll need access to the security terminal. Should take about half an hour for the full installation. Don't wait up. Our terminal? Well, if you have to. But make it quick. We've got a lot of sens sensitive materials in here. No fucking way. Isabel, get in there. How are we doing on our uh, system trace? Are we still at 60 or whatever? 130? Whoops. This is going to get dicey. We'll hide in the center part. Go, 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 go. Excuse me? Excuse me, miss? Where's this trace lowering one? Reduce the system trace by 50. Whoop. That was my whole turn. Oh, did we not piss off the other guys? No, we did. He's just being an asshole about it. 74%. Go fuck yourself. What is this? Where's my ridiculous murder one? Erodes I see integrity. Okay, I really need you to stop fucking generating trace every turn. Okay, we're pretty much back where we started. I think we can just run behind one of these guys. Go, 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 go. Inspect, but what's this guy? Security node and connected node. What? I don't know what that means. White sparky ice? Watcher ice? Oh boy. Five turns on suppression. Jesus. Let's just get right in here. Oh fuck, you're getting inspected. Back right out. We're in like the worst possible part of the building to set off an alert inside the security office with like five dudes with guns. Plus five system trace. How did you see me, you rascal? What's this one? Boost persona speed by 40%. I don't know what that means. You're still not dead. Incredible. Now you are. If only I could skip my turn. I guess that'd be overpowered because you just keep dicking around and uh, wiping your, your trace. He's got a lot of health, unfortunately. Oh shit, we did it. Okay, go. Crack it open. You hack the node and the vulnerable network is quickly infected by spoof programs. Within a matter of seconds, the programs spread across the system, sending false security alarms throughout saying, the security network is becoming less and less stable. More guards pick up the summons to locate each alarm's origin, but they continue to only find dead ends. Oh shit. That was a bad idea. We did not, I did not intend to uh, spoof already when we're not caught. So we already wasted our first alert. Which sucks because we're getting pretty close to getting caught by this asshole and his asshole friend. Better chance to hit you, but not by a bunch. Whoop. If he's only generating like five trace per turn, we want to keep him alive. Plus five trace? Yeah, we want to fucking leave him kicking. Oh, 
There's your life, Isabel. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Bring that trace down a bit. If he generates five trace per turn. Oh, wow, yeah, we're not gonna fucking tank that. It's not worth it. We just gotta get through that. What is this fucking wacky made-up patrol route he's on? Go! Open it! Just blow it open. Secure data store. Internal announcement. Sang security increased. The Sang company has increased its security measures in a company-wide movement to protect its investments. Sang's actions on this matter are to remain company knowledge only. Any mention or leak of this information will not be tolerated. The employees found guilty of divulging said security movement to outside parties will be blacklisted and purged from Sang Mechanical Services. Security protocols will double throughout Sang proper. In the case of Laboratory 12, security will be enhanced threefold for optimum protection. Those who work in Laboratory 12 will be upgraded to Omega Level Clearance. Admittance to the laboratory will be heavily monitored, and all visitors must have Omega Clearance or higher with critical business in the area. Fuck. The captain of the station has pre-approved a limited release of Laboratory 12's elevator code to Omega personnel. Receipt of this message is proof of your authorization. Warning. This information is highly sensitive and should remain restricted to Omega Plus knowledge only. Violators will experience the aforementioned blacklisting and company purging. A list of digital conversations that have been sent from this floor appears. One in particular, an exchange between the Sang executive and an employee and accountant, looks promising. Well, let's read it. Lee Shawn to Magical Research. I was informed that you're the best person to contact regarding the passcodes for the Magical Research Center. As a new recruit to the accounting team, and with security being so tight, I lack access to the center's files that are necessary to perform my biannual accounting report. I'd appreciate it if you'd send me the codes by end of day today. No. What you're asking is extremely unorthodox and in blatant disregard of company protocol. My department is under constant scrutiny, and I can't afford a leak. You'll have to go through the proper channels and fill out the required paperwork if you want the passcodes. Mei Lin Zhao. Dear Mrs. Lin Zhao, allow me to rephrase my earlier request. You send me the passcodes, and I'll review the Magical Center's finances. I heard that your labs have been hemorrhaging funds this last quarter. Perhaps I could massage those numbers to make the lab appear more monetarily efficient. Attached are the passcodes for my department's core system terminal. You'll access the system only under my direct supervision. Okay. So apparently we were on the wrong floor. And we're getting really close to an alarm. Go. Oh, no! What the fuck are you doing, girl? That is not the quickest way to the door. Holy shit. Are you for real? So we're totally tripping alarm when we get to the magic floor. I gotta fucking walk cube by cube because I can't trust this fucking idiot dwarf. Whoops, sorry. Sorry again. My bad. Master Decker. Just jack the fuck out. Thank you for your help, everybody. Be on our way to the Thaumaturgical Research Facility, where we'll get attacked by hellhounds and shit. Wait. Do we have a numerical code? No, no, no. Objectives. Mission items? Why? The shiny object? Oh, did we forget to throw this away? Oops. One of a kind ship that only works on Sang VP's course system access terminal. Sang Business Archive. Lab 12 access code. Four four five two six. Oh no way. Numerical code accepted. Please enter second sequence. What? On the elevator wall is a large panel covered in buttons. A keypad is mounted beside it. The buttons are left unlabeled, but you know from the plastic face man's data which floors have security stations. What? 
both get fucked. I gotta do both floors. Thaumaturgical research. Hello. Whoa, slow down there. Restricted area. I'll need to see your ID. Calm down, I'm for maintenance. Just here to replace some lights. Not like I stole this uniform or something, now that if you don't mind. His uncertainty turns into an embarrassed chuckle. Yeah, you're right. Between you and me, sometimes security can be a little overkill around here. Anyway, I won't hold you up. Good luck. Fucking charisma prevails yet again. We're in, like, the charisma dungeon. Door keypad? Walk away. I can't fucking sense anything in this place. Containment lab. Oh, that's a place we want to go, clearly. What's this? Sign? Danger. In use. Do not enter. Oh, sorry. Security. It's right there. Thaumaturgical lab. Be careful with that one. VP of Thaumaturgical Research. This seems like a great idea. Whew. Okay, here we go. The Vice President spares you a glance from over the top of the PDA. There's a bite to her voice. Who are you? Maintenance. What do you want? I was sent up here to investigate a strange smell. Have you noticed any unusual odors around here? Everything's fine. Now get it before I call security. Sorry, I'll let you get back to your work. Okay, that went awful. Hey there, stranger. You overhear a masked man in a lab coat mumbling to himself. After a moment, you realize that he's narrating his actions. With a flash of his pen, he approves the incoming lab expenses. Science shall not suffer at the hands of miserly department heads. No, not on his watch. Such fiery acumen, such daring. He runs a hand through his luscious locks of stubble. The women swoon, the men swoon. He is metahumanity's last hope. His shoulders stiffen in surprise. He makes a small sound and looks at you. You can't tell if he's angry or embarrassed. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, uh, how long have you been there? Actually, never mind. You're here to fix something. Show him the past. Just found out we've got budget to make some upgrades, so I'm checking in to see if your station needs any modifications or equipment installations. Look, I do very delicate, complicated work here. The last thing I need is a bunch of bumbling maintenance schlubs jeopardizing my work. Oh, don't fucking worry. I have the stat for this one as well. I can see that. The spirits whom you channel to power your machinery are being monitored on the instruments over there, right? Seems as if you're probing the astral world to find out how they draw their power from that plane. You, you can see all that? His baffled expression quickly morphs into one of ecstatic delight. No one else gets it, how crucial this project is. It's been so long since I've met anyone who understands my work here. I don't know where to begin. It's genius, really. Well, I invented it, so I'm the genius. But the contraption itself is nothing short of spectacular. It uses advanced sonar to, in layman's terms, etch out an image of the astral plane. But instead of refracting off of physical objects, it refracts off of magical energies. Interesting. I know what you're thinking, but why are you digging around in astral space, Wendell? Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to discuss those details with you. I've been entrusted with this task, and I take my job very seriously. Is that right? I know, I can see the disappointment in your face. I suppose I could at least tell you why I store the information. The sonar scans are oh so cleverly transcribed into a separate terminal that is constantly updating the results. This technique allows me to paint a picture of an abstract space. Revolutionary, wouldn't you agree? Yes, of course you do. You understand. I guess. I'm sure you're wondering how I use this data to discern energies of value from nugatory ones inside astral space. Well, it actually relates to my sonar system. A minor adjustment that I made to its sound wave feature refines the oscillation signal and, in turn, alters my results. As the sound percolates through the other plane, only energies of substantial magical strength provide enough resistance for the signals to refract information back to my terminal. Huh. He leans in and his voice drops. To be perfectly honest, I actually got the idea from a video game, Magic of Evermore, The Awakening. It was incredibly popular a decade ago. Have you played it? No, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have played it. You already get it. We're kindred spirits, you and I, just like Bulger the Great and his pox-faced friend, Pukak. Tell me more. Well, part of Meta's battle system involved an otherworld 
where the fights took place in complete darkness. You had to do a sweep attack with your ringing axe to see the opponents. The audible attack would pass through lesser objects, but not the active energy of your enemies. The gameplay was crap, but the concept was there, and one day, on my 239th playthrough, I realized that its mechanics could be applied to actual real-world system. It was plausible. Imagine that. I don't want to brag, but there's no other scientist in intra or astral research to accomplish what I've done. Built from the ground up myself. I named the sonar system Balls. Bridged astral to Lido document sonar after Meta's hero, Balgar. He smiles wide, looking thoroughly pleased with himself. He must be very proud. I feel like I can talk to you about anything. You know, I rarely had that growing up. Everyone was so impatient with me. I can't imagine why. Obviously, I was a child prodigy. I never outgrew my genius. But that doesn't seem to make a difference to my parents, classmates, or teachers. No one wanted to talk to me. When I finally got to university, the frat boys were so intensely jealous of my success that they used to bully me. One in particular harassed me mercilessly with names like Wen Dull or Vomit Voice. A tear glistens in the corner of his eye. He turns his head to the side and shouts into his shoulder, Damn you, Chad Bronson. You know, I started wearing this mask soon after I graduated, which I did early, I'm sure you guessed, so people will think I'm sick and friendlier. But even if they start out friendly, the second I open my mouth, they shrink away. I know it's my intellect that intimidates people. I just wish that they could see past that. See me, like you do. Yeah. You know, someone with your sharp judgment could easily rise to the ranks here, especially with my recommendation. You're possible. That's very generous of you. Give it some thought. He cautiously glances over his shoulder. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I like you. So if you promise me, promise me that you won't tell anyone, I'll give you the code to our containment chamber. We hit the astral jackpot in there. It'll blow your mind. But I'd seriously be breaking company ordinance, so... I promise, Wendell. He nods excitedly, mask bobbing up and down. Just don't let anyone see you enter, all right? A small sound rolls in the back of Gaichi's throat. What is it? I found a new respect for you today, Stubtoe Williams. And during that man's prattle was a torture beyond many that I have witnessed, and yet... You waded through it all to the way to the end, obtaining for us an important saying security code. I have many skills, my friend. So I'm discovering. I have many skills. And now we can go into the containment room, which hopefully means we'll never have to talk to the VP of Thaumaturgical Research because he was a huge bitch. Ob objective added. See what is in the containment. Deal. Deal. 